So I think a lot of harpers, particularly those who like to sing with the harp, get used to and get comfortable with playing triad chords and arpeggios, um, often broken ascending triads like this. This becomes your comfort zone and you want to be able to move outside of this and play more interesting chords, but you're not sure how. Well, fear not, because I'm going to show you exactly this over the next few minutes with three ways to make your harp chords more interesting. So we're going to look at suspended chords or sus chords first. There are two basic sus chords, sus2 and sus4. So let's go into the key of C. This is our C scale. And let's look at our C triad, notes C, E and G with fingers 3, 2, 1. A sus2 chord is basically when you take the middle note out of your triad, which in this case is an E, which we play with finger 2, and we move that finger down a step. We replace the middle note with the one below. So then our chord becomes C, D, G. See how that harmony is different? And it's called a C sus2 because we replaced the middle note of the triad, the E, with the second note of the scale, so the C scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You could also call it notes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And D is note 2, so it's a C sus2, because we've replaced the E with a D. So, to get sus4, let's go back to our C triad, notes C, E, and G. Now, we move the second finger up a step. So, we replace the middle note with a note um, up a step. So now our chord is C, F, G. See how that feels different? And again, it's called a C sus4 because we've replaced that middle note, the E, with the fourth note of the C scale. One, two, three, four, an F. So we had our C triad, our C sus2, and our C sus4. I use these chords all the time. Um, and they're so easy to do on the harp. And what's important to note is you can apply this principle of moving the second finger down a step from your basic um, triad to get a sus2 chord to basically any chord in any key. And the same goes um, for a sus4 chord where we move the second finger up a step from our basic triad. So let me show you what I mean. Um, I'll go in the key of G, I'll put my F levers. Now let's look at a G triad, so notes G, B, D. So I do the same thing here to get the sus2 and the sus4 chord. To get the sus2 chord, I move my second finger down a step, so now the notes are G, A, D. And going back to the regular triad, to get the sus4, I move my second finger up a step, notes G, C, D. So now, um, using that principle, we've we've um, figured out how to play a G sus2 and a G sus4. So those are sus2 and sus4 chords. And if you like, you could take a song or tune that you already play that has basic triads, triad chords in it and experiment with moving your second finger either up or down a step to create these new interesting sounding harmonies. So another way we can make our harp chords more interesting is using add chords. Um, I love using add chords on the harp and they're so easy to do. Here's a few. So those are add chords. What we're doing when we play add chords is literally just adding in an extra note to our triad chord, changing it from a three note chord to a four note chord. You can also add multiple notes to your triad chord um, with add chords, but I'm just gonna show you how to add one additional note today to keep things simple. So let's look at this in the key of C. Let's look at our basic C triad again, notes C, E, and G. So we can turn this three note chord into a four note chord by adding another note to it from our C scale. So let me show you what I mean. So We've got um, our basic C scale, notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And our C triad is notes C, E, G. 
So what is the first note of the C scale that I can add to this chord? Well, we've already got C in the chord, so if we move up a step, the next note is D. So, um, this new chord becomes C, D, E, G. Do you hear how that sounds different to the regular C triad? So this is called a C add two because I've just added the second note of the scale, um, D, to our C triad. Okay, so that's a C add two. So now let's move up the scale and see what is the next note we can add to our C triad. Well, a step up from D is E, and that's already in our C triad, so we gotta go up another step again to F. So this new chord, this new four note chord, is C, E, F, G, and this is a C add four, because we've added the fourth note of the scale, one, two, three, four, F, to a C triad. So that's C add four. Um, so let's see what, what is the next note we can add to a C triad. Um, so up a step from F, we've got G, that's already in our triad, so we have to go up another step, so A. So this is our new chord, notes C, E, G, A. I quite like this one. This is a C add 6, and you can probably guess why, because we have added the 6th note of the C scale to the C chord, C triad. The 6th note being A. So that's a C add 6. Then let's see what is the next note we can add of the C scale um, to our C triad. Well, we just did A, so if we move up a step, we're on to B. So the new chord is C, E, G, B. You could call this a C add 7, um, but it's more commonly known as C major 7, quite a, a popular chord. If we move um, up a step again from B to C, this is a chord you're probably already familiar with. It's an arpeggio. C, E, G, C. And lastly, I'll show you if we move um, this note up one more step to a high D. So our notes are C, E, G, D. So there's a big, a big stretch from the second finger to the, the thumb at the top. This is a C add 9 because the note we've added on top is 9 notes from your, your root note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is a C add 9. So those are just a few add chords for you and they are some of my favourite kinds of chords to play on the harp and some of my favourite ways to make my chords just a little bit more interesting. So the third thing I'm going to show you to help you to play some more interesting chords are inversions. These are like triads but turned on their head. So those are some inversions. Um, they're a great way to change up a chord and add a feeling of suspension or floating to the chord. So let's look at our C triad. Notes C, E and G. This is a first inversion um, C triad, notes E, G, C. And this is a second inversion, notes G, C, E. And you can hear how they all sound related, but they've all got their own character. They all have notes C, E and G in them, but just in a different combination. So looking at our C triad again, you can get the first inversion by taking the note that you've got at the bottom of your triad and now playing it in the octave above. So get rid of the bottom note, add it from the octave above on top. Now our notes are E, G, C, which we can play with fingers three, two, one. So this is how you get your first inversion. So going from the, the root triad, take the, the note from the bottom. Now we're playing it in the octave above. And you can hear the difference between the root and the first inversion. Now to get the second inversion, we take the note from the bottom of the first inversion, the E, 
Now we're going to play it in the octave above, so the notes become G, C, E, which we can play with fingers 3, 2, 1. So this is a C second inversion. So root, first inversion, second inversion. You can hear how they all sound related, but each has their own character. Like with the other types of chords we explore today, you can apply the same principle to any triad chord in any key to get more first and second inversions. So let me show you in the key of D. So I'll put up my F and C levers. So my D triad, D root triad is notes D, F sharp and A. Now to get the first inversion, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did before. So I'll take the note that's at the bottom and I'm going to play it now in the octave above. So we're removing the D from the bottom, playing it on top. So now we're a first inversion of notes F sharp, A and D. And you can hear how they sound different but related. Now to get our second inversion, we take the note that's at the bottom of the first inversion and play it um, in the octave above. So our new chord, our second inversion is notes A, D and F sharp. So root, first inversion and second inversion. So those are inversions and they're really fun to play and they're a great way to make your chords a little more interesting. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed looking through those new chord types for the harp. And if you want help in remembering them, I have a guide you can download, just look below for the link. And in the guide, it'll show you how to play these add chords, sus chords and inversions, and show you how to apply them to the chords and the songs that you want to sing. And if you enjoyed this lesson, you can find out more at the School of Harp website.